It's so hot out today. Look how dirty this car is. It's pretty dirty. I did finally get a new flag up. I had that one up forever. All my other cars are dirty too. And of course it's hot out and I have a black shirt on and pants, but whatever. Um, I'm going to Target. My kids and my husband are going to camp, so it's just going to be me for the weekend. I'm going to be working on some DIYs and vlogs all weekend. So, so I'm waiting for the FedEx guy because my Samsung account says my Galaxy Buds should be here soon. So the delivery date's today and they're not here yet so i kind of wanted to wait before i leave it's taking forever so not really sure what's going on i guess it's 3 30 so i'm not sure really what time the fedex guy even leaves or comes through here so we'll see okay i am I'm not even going to wait. I'm actually going to check the mail. I don't think they put them in the mailbox. But... The earbuds are not in there, but we have a ton of mail. Nothing overly exciting. No, nothing that great. So, that was a waste. But anyway, I am off to Target. Um, I was gonna wait there for the FedEx side, but I just was over it. Um, if he comes today, he comes. If not, whatever, we'll see him tomorrow. Um, I know I don't think I have to sign for him because when Aspen's came, I didn't have to sign for his. So hopefully they'll just drop him off there. Um, it's going on four o'clock, so I just wanted to run down here because um, it is an hour drive and then an hour drive back, and I didn't want to be gone forever. Um, I was trying to get stuff done while the guys are gone all weekend. That I just kind of wanted to enjoy my weekend by myself. Um, I don't get too many weekends by myself. Do you guys ever, you guys ever like that? I don't know. So I'm like planning on going to Target. I think I might bring some food now. Sorry, I'm like trying to get this perfect. I might bring some food home. I don't know if I want Chick fil A. I always get Chick-fil-A because we don't have Chick-fil-A. Like, that's the only thing that we don't have close to, like, my house is Chick-fil-A. I don't know if I'm hungry for Chick-fil-A. Like, I don't know what I'm hungry for yet. That makes sense. I had Subway yesterday. Like, I'm not a big Subway fan. So, I don't know. But, anyway, we had a big au We went to a, an auction. Actually, I didn't go to the auction. My husband did my brother-in-law and they bought all kinds of stuff um, and I had to go help load it all and I ended up falling out of our dump truck and I am so sore because um, our dump truck's really high and then I had like this big table that was like in this box and like fell kind of like it hit my ear like my neck was all stiff and I kind of like it locked me down, like the box didn't land on me, but it like pushed me, and it like pushed me down, twisted my ankle, and then like slammed me into this table, and hurt my sides, so like my neck, my my um, ankle, and my right side, like my right side of my hip, all hurts. On top of that, I moved boxes and everything all day, and then that was the grand finale, like I fell out of the, fell out of the dump truck after moving shit all day. So I'm like super sore. Um, I would have been fine if I just didn't fall. Like, and I don't know. I think the ta if the table wasn't there to break my fall, I think I would have got really hurt. Um, it could have been way worse. I'm just like hurting today and like feeling it bad. So, but I'm keep moving because I think if I don't move, like it'll be worse. Like I was sore yesterday. 
yesterday, but this morning, I could barely move. Like, you don't realize you're getting older until you, like, can't freaking move. Like, I woke up, my neck would not move. Like, it was so stiff. It hurt so bad. My back was, like, so sore. Like, I thought it was sore yesterday. It was nothing. But anyway, um, could have been way worse. But anyway, we have tons of shit, like, that we're, like, moving and everything else. So, that is what we did yesterday. My husband and Aspen went to camp. So, there's, like, a fishing tournament or something. And then there's, like, this, um, I don't even know, fair. I've never even been up there. There's, like, this fair, and they go up with friends and stuff like that. So, they're going to be up there for three days. My oldest son is going to pick up some kind of cars. He's with his friends for the weekend. And then here I am hanging out with my cats at home eating Chick-fil-A. Sounds fun, right? <laughs> but anyway, no, seriously, I'm going to try to get some DIYs done because I have so much to do. Um, so I'm going to try to bust them out as much as I can my whole table packed full of stuff ready to go and I've been wanting to do this for a while so I'm um, gonna do that I have um, this my husband got me this um, like as soon as Target put their Halloween stuff out even before they had their like stuff out they had their pet stuff out before like their Halloween stuff and um, my husband bought it for me like a month ago and I felt bad because I should have had it up for my cats. Like, they should have been playing with it for a while. But I just never even got it out of the box because I've just been so busy. It's a box, but I never got it out of the box, if that makes sense. It's like a box for cats. But it's like, has like a scratch thing. Scratch thing, it's like a box. Like a Halloween haunted house thing. Um, but I think it has like two levels and it has like a scratch thing. I don't think it's that hard to put together or whatever. But I never did it. And um, I didn't realize like I didn't do it because it's been in my garage and I forgot about it and I didn't realize I didn't realize it until everybody started tagging me in this they're like you have to get this you have to get this and I'm like shit I have this I just need to put it together so I figured I'm gonna do that tonight my cats are gonna love that so I'll put that together tonight for them and then um, just hang out and do some DIYs and just kind of chill by myself and get some of that stuff done and that'll keep them occupied in that box hopefully away from my videos away from my crafts I doubt it but we'll see it might work for five minutes for them to do that um, so yeah so that'll work out good hopefully um, so we'll see I don't know but anyway I'm going down here I'm gonna go to Target and I want to go to Home Depot um, because I want to get one of these skeleton like Doberman dogs. I kind of went two, but they're a little bit expensive. I don't know. I think they're like 40 or $50 a piece. I kind of really wanted two, like one for each side of my door, for my front door. I don't know. I showed my husband it, and he's like, that's expensive just for one. And he'd like probably kill me if I got two, but no, he's not with me. And I told him I was getting them, so I don't know. We'll see. I'll see what they look like. Um, they look really cute online. Of course, everything looks cute sometimes online, and they don't like in person. So we'll see about that. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm not gonna make this like a super long car vlog. Last my last two car vlogs have been super long, and I feel like I talk about nothing. So I'm gonna try to make this short, and sweet, because I have nothing else to talk about. So, I will see you guys maybe in Target. Oh, I'm looking for these tiered stands. I did get two. You might have seen them when I did, like, I showed some, some of my Halloween decorations. Or I took a day. I did take a picture. I think I did post it on Instagram. But I know I have it on Facebook. Um, of my coffee bar. And I have, like, this tiered stand. I got that at Target. And then I have a tiered stand. It's in my bathroom. Um, but I'm looking for, like, it's a white metal one, and ha um, Target has them in their do dollar spot. I don't even know if they call it dollar spot. It's a bargain spot or whatever now. 
I don't know, nothing's a dollar in that spot anyway anymore. It's like five dollar spot, I feel like anymore, but whatever. Um, but I'm looking for like the white tiered stand and I can never find it. Um, so I'm hoping they have it at this Target. Um, sadly, this Target that I always go to never has anything, but never know. They might have it today, so we'll see. Go down there and we'll see what we can find. I don't even know what I'm looking for, but I figured why not do something. So yeah, I will see you maybe inside Target. Okay, so I got this guy. Hopefully he gets my trunk. Not sure. I did clean it out before abroad. Oh yeah, he fits in there. Okay, then I used the self-checkout at Home Depot and I just got that, what is it even called? It's called Greyhound. I have two of them, but they only had one sitting out. So whatever, I only got one. I probably only needed one anyway, so that was a sign. But anyway, he was $39.98 plus tax was $240. So my total was $41.38. So I put a 50 in and I only had 50s with me. So um, I normally never count my change and now I'm going to start because I normally just grab it and throw it in my purse, which is a bad habit. But from now on, I'm going to start counting my change because I normally just assume like it's right. Um, but I looked at my receipt and um, I had $2 left and 62 cents, right? And I was looking at my receipt and it said I was supposed to get five or seven 62 back. And I only had two 62. And I was like, wait a minute, I'm missing $5. So I had called him back over there because he had asked me if everything was okay. And I said, yeah, everything's fine. So then I had called him back and I was like, it only gave me, <laughs> this guy stalked me in Home Depot. I said, it only gave me two dollars and 62 cents I said I'm missing a five and I don't know if he didn't believe me or if he was just like oh okay so he opened the machine or whatever my five dollars was stuck in there he's like oh he's like there it is I was like oh thanks so um it was stuck in there and good thing I paid attention because I would have lost five dollars so there was my change so always count your change because especially with machines that's what goes wrong with them so, yeah, I could have paid five extra dollars for that and not even paid attention. And I don't know if that guy didn't believe me or whatever. I think he did. But, yeah, it was stuck in that machine. So he's like, oh, yeah, he's like, there it is. So I was like, oh, cool. So anyway, off to Target, which is right across the road. So let's go. Okay, so I just left Chick-fil-A, and that was probably the longest time I actually stood in line. Normally, they're really fast, even for the lines being, like, super long. Line was wrapped around the building twice, which it normally always is. They're always, like, so busy. But, like, I feel like they should always get a raise. The best employees come from Chick-fil-A. I really believe that. They're just like, so nice. I feel like they're always so nice and they always get your order right. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but at least every Chick-fil-A that I went to, I went to them out of state, I went to them locally. They've all been super nice and everything. I got their mac and cheese. Which, if you have not tried it yet, you need to. It's amazing. Probably not going to eat that right now. Get napkins. And I got spicy chicken. I got um, the deluxe spicy chicken with pepper jack. No tomato. And it looks amazing. And I figured 
like, I don't like to drive and eat. I like to park and eat because <laughs> I'm nosy and I like to watch people. Oh, I also get extra pickle. There's people beside me, too. I'm, like, nosy and watching them. They got grocery. But anyway, um, I waited in line for a long time. Really good. So I figured I'd do a haul while I'm here. Look, I still have those plants back there. Unreal. I didn't get any fries because I really don't like their waffle fries. I normally get them and give them to my husband. But he's not going to be around. So I missed out on my fries today. I love their lemonade though. Okay, so I did a little haul. Went to this place called Wall Outlet. You guys aren't going to have it, I don't think. It's just like a really random outlet store. They have a little bit of everything, like decorations, mainly decorations. They have like, um, they have uh, appliances, um, furniture, really like, random stuff. Um, I just went in there because they had like these skeletons that they were there like last month and I was going to go in and get some of those and they were sold out. They actually had all their Christmas stuff out. They had all kinds of Christmas trees out and pretty much all their Halloween stuff was gone and all their Christmas stuff was out and they did have Thanksgiving out. So Thanksgiving and Christmas stuff was all out. So if you're local and you have Wild Outlet near you... That's pretty much all that was in there. But I got these cute pillows. They're little bats. I don't know if you can see because I'm like black hair, black shirt, black car. They're super cute. I have um, cat pillows like this. I just posted a picture of my cat actually on Facebook with one of these cat pillows. But I got mine at Target. Um, but these were $1.99 at Wild Outlet. So I got two of those just for my couch. And then I picked up another one of these. I got one of these at Walmart. I got two of these at Walmart last night. But I got another one of these. Um, they, this was $2.99. I don't think that was a great deal. I still think they're $3 at Walmart too. This guy's looking at me like, why am I holding this stuff up? And then I just picked up some wax, which was a dollar. I got two of them. I got, I'll tell you the scents too, because why not? Apple cinnamon and cinnamon coffee cake. So, got that. Rat, that was the most random thing ever. Then I went to Rite Aid because I needed um, these. We're 75% off and it's going to be stuck on here. Ah. Okay, these were 75% off. Um, they're obviously just skeletons, and I'm going to do a DIY with these, so I got these. Um, I wanted cute ones, and these are, like, kind of cute. I wanted to get Target ones, but I wasn't paying, like, Target one for this size. They wanted, like, I think $12, $14, and I wasn't going to pay that. So these were, I think, um, for 75% off, I think they were, like, $3 or $2, um, which wasn't bad. So I got four of these. Um, for that price, I'm just going to ruin them anyway or glue them together. And then I picked up this, which was 75% um, off as well. And it just lights up like that. And it goes on the wall, which I thought was kind of cool. That was a random purchase, but whatever. And then, since I'm putting my cat's box up, their little mansion up today, and they have outfits already... I had to get them toys at Target, which was $3.99 for these. Oh no, $2.99, which still, um, they're cute though. Little pumpkins. They had cat ones too, but I decided to go with the pumpkins. Um, so $2.99 for those. They probably won't even play with them, but I got those because I was feeling festive and I have more stuff in the back. Hold on. Okay, and um, I needed to get new Tupperware because I was so upset. Um, I have gotten um, the Pyrex, um, I got Halloween ones, and then I got like um, 
different one, cute ones with over time. And I have them underneath my drawer in my stove and I had preheated it and I forgot to pull them out when I preheated it and the freaking lids had melted. So I was so upset. Some of my favorite ones were underneath there and the lids freaking melted. So I mean, I have the bottoms, but I just don't have the lids. So I bought some more of these. These were actually on clearance. Um, I think they were $4.99. This one says, I love leftovers, which is cute. And I got these ones too, little string lights. These were in the dollar spot. They're just little ghosts and they take batteries. That was in there because I bagged this stuff. So I just put whatever in this bag. Um, I got this one. And this one says, hey there, hot stuff. And those are the only two ones of those I got. And I got two more things of light. And I got these little ghosts, little dangly lights like bats. And then I got more little ghost lights and they say, beware. So I put those up, my finishing touches up of my Halloween decorations. I'm going to do a walkthrough tonight of my house and finally get that video up and running because I am so tired of actually decorating for Halloween. I'm actually over it. I'm going to break that before I even get it in my house. Okay. Shit, I just realized I've been sitting here. With my car running my car is good on gas but not that good my car is like dead 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 e and i get so used to ignoring bells and dings on my car because i don't wear my seatbelt go go oh fuck minivan drivers are the worst tell me to go tell me to go where I'm going. Anyway, I'm so used to not paying attention to my bell because it dings when I'm not wearing my seatbelt that I didn't pay attention that I'm freaking out of gas, like dead out of gas. So I could get up here and get gas like really bad. That's where I'm at. don't get scared of running on E either. I always take it as a challenge. Like challenge accepted. My husband does though too. So like when two of us are like that, it's bad. We have a lot of vehicles. So when we get into one vehicle, oh there's a sheets over there. I gotta get a sheet. So when there's like two of us that aren't scared of riding on E, there'll be like so many vehicles on dead E and we'll be like, oh, this car's on E. Let's take something else. We'll get in something else and that'll be on E. We're like, fuck. Never works out. The, of course, the pump that I got to has a freaking bag on it. I got to go to a different pump. I didn't run out of gas. Okay, so I am going to try to put this spooky mansion together. I got it at Target, and it was $17 for a cardboard box. Actually, my husband bought it for me. Um, we got it actually a couple weeks ago, and I never put it together because it was in my garage. And everybody kept tagging me in this on Facebook. And I said, you know what? I better get it out of my garage and put it together because... I'm going to do some DIYs today for, for YouTube, and I figured this will keep my cats occupied, hopefully, and out of my other videos, um, I'm hoping. So, let's try this out. If I can get this tape off of here, which I can't, I might need scissors, hold on. Okay, finally got it off. How confusing this is going to be. So I think it's two stories. I have lots of health. He's already using it.
Chinese or are you trying to use this box? to the side. That's probably last. I don't know. Here's the directions. Ugh, they look kind of confusing. There's two pages of them. Look. Oh my. Alright. There goes my other cat. Into the box. Who needs? <laughs> I should have just gave him an empty box. There it goes. There you go. Who needs a fancy box when they have this one? So here we have a box that I spent probably 20 minutes doing, putting together, and it was actually pretty hard because the directions were pretty difficult. I mean, for a cardboard box, it was pretty extreme. And we have cats, hold on, let me flip this around. We have cats on this freaking box that it came in. And this box that I put together, that cost $17. Nobody's in it. But the box that it came in, everybody wants to do something with. But the box that I spent time putting together, that costs sixteen dollars from Target, guys. Nobody wants to put anything. No, oh, there goes one in it. All right, somebody's in it, but they still like the box that came in better. You better sit in there for a long time. Little nose. 